Well, this is the Vicky. Wiki. Wacky. Jackson Show. Here's Vicky. You all know how much I admire uh, Michelle. China Phillips Baldwin's YouTube channel and how she goes on there with no makeup on and just you know raw as herself I don't think I should do that hello everybody this week's show is gonna be about fat oh yeah fat So I'm here with my friend Patty, and we're hiking the Percy Warner. Is that what it's called? Percy Warner. Yeah. yeah where are you? Is like she her? not Christian? She's Christian. Yeah, I like her. We should have lunch with her. Hey, Kathy Lee, if you're listening, come and meet us somewhere for lunch. We uh, live near you. Kathy Lee, I was on her show back in the day. She's very sweet, and we exchanged Christmas cards for a while. Okay, now we've got to go to that trail over there. Fasting. Here's my idea of fasting. Today, I woke up, and I have to fast because Eric Metaxas told me I needed to. My husband would never say that, or he'd never see me again. And so I ate a half a banana and some blueberries. I'm going to walk why did you? Why did you dress as a, as a medical receptionist for this interview? <laughs> well, I'm tired of black. You know, I always wear slimming black and I was like, I like white. White is supposed to make you look fat, but I don't care. I like white. You know something we have, we've talked about weight. And uh, when we were filming our, um, the Christmas thing last time, we were talking about this. And I, I think fasting is the only way to go. Because first of all, we should be doing it for spiritual reasons anyway. And the first time you do it, it is really tough. That's always the, it's always the toughest. Like if you say, okay, I'm gonna fast dinner tonight, that's really hard. But once you do that, it becomes easier. I've noticed this every single time that I've done it. And I think that for this election, a lot of people are calling for fasting and prayer. Or something. Okay, Eric Metaxas, I'm fasting. Okay, Eric Metaxas, I'm fasting. The best I can. So every time I get hunger pain, I'm going to pray. And right now I'm praying for our country while I'm listening to the, uh, the return in Washington, D.C. I know like 20 of these speakers personally. It's just so cool. I didn't even know about it. Nobody told me. Or I think I would have been there in Washington, D.C. today, September 26th. See, I can already see my face getting skinnier because I fasted for one day. But I had a half a banana and some blueberries today. Um, yeah, so, see, because I have to be on Huckabee, Huckabee, November 10th, and I would like to be really skinny that day. So am I fasting for the Lord or am I fasting for vanity? Lord, we ask for your mercy and for your grace to draw us back. Your holiness, we thank you, O Lord God, for giving us your Son. We thank you, O Father, for the power of your word. Reach out and touch Jesus. The presence of Jesus brings healing. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Steve Berger. And as we just heard, we're going to transition from prayers of repentance 
to prayers for revival. Is anybody here to pray for revival across the world today? How many of you know you cannot have revival unless you first had repentance? Our hearts must first agree with God that we have sinned. Then we must turn from our sin, confess our sin, and ask God to forgive our sin. Then we've got to turn to God, listen to me, to revive our hearts, to give us a heart that's in a right relationship with him. A heart, listen to me, that burns with a passion for his presence, for his purity, for his power, and for his purpose. This is what a revived heart looks like. And she said, oh, my dad named me after Christiana, Tennessee. And she said, that's why my name is Christiana from Christiana, Tennessee. And she was putting on such a show. I said, well, good thing he didn't live in Bucksnort. <laughs> hey, Patty. Do apples count if you're on a fast? They do count because they're a solid food. See this? I but, can't drink it. I can't drink it. I so, have to chew it. So did I just break my fast? Yeah. Oh, I gotta start it again right now. I'm oh. starting right now. Well, here you go. Is there oh. fructose in that? No, not at all. My friend says oh, wait, we're wait, not allowed wait. to have fructose. Good evening, I'm Jason Barbe, co-founder and executive director of CIFF, the Canadian International Faith and Family Film Festival. And with me tonight is a very special guest and the lovely Victoria Jackson. Hello, I'm Victoria Jackson. You may know me from uh, Saturday Night Live or um, lots of movies I've been in, Tonight Show with Johnny Carson or whatever. Uh, I'm so honored to be here tonight at the what's it called the canadian international faith and film award ceremony and i'm so excited what uh what award did i win oh uh sorry you didn't win an award vicky you just you, we uh... i know it's the best singer in a faith and film movie because i think i did sing i just want to show you that I... it's a broken world baby for dancing did I win the Best Actress Award? No one. I knew it. I knew it was for that role in Lost Heart where I played the hippie mother. We have the winners already in place. That's what the award show is oh. all about. Oh, you already have the winners. Yeah, but I, I you know, I appreciate you coming out to, to visit us. Um, it's been great seeing you. Well, thank you. And I would just like to say congratulations to all you real winners. And I am honored to be with you tonight. Mwah! Thank you. We love you. God bless, Vicki. You too. <laughs> Do I get paid for this? Hi, I'm Joe Lynn Turner former lead singer of legendary bands Deep Purple and Rainbow. And the award goes to...
took my blame, he took my guilt, he took my shame. He took my stripes, but never once did he complain. And I know he must have cried inside when they spat on his face and called him names of disgrace. He took my cross. On his back through the streets, he took my nails through his hands and through his feet. Don't you know how much he cried inside when he heard the crowd? Fly. Oh my, Jesus took it all for me. When he laid down his life at Calvary, his life at Okay, so, yeah, I'm in the bathroom at Starbucks. So, besides Eric sing, sing, which is beef acting, my cute clothes don't fit me. And there was a comment under the Vicky Wicky Wacky Jackson show by a stranger, and he said, I'm fat. Yeah. Thank you.